Hello, creativepreneurs. Today, we'd like to announce a new set of graphics. Welcome to the Laughing Bird Create a Scene series. Today, we're launching three beautiful and packed sets of graphics for you. Ocean Planet, where you'll drag and drop images to create your own ocean worlds. The Land Before Time contains prehistoric dinosaurs, volcanoes, and really cool background images. And the Wild West Scene Creator, where you'll journey back to the Old West with these high quality PNG images. Here, let me show you how it works. Inside each of these folders, you're gonna find a whole bunch of really nice graphics. So here are the background images for, for the ocean planet. And we have characters, really funny characters of surfers and people on rafts. And I'll show you what these guys do in a second. And over here in the prehistoric dinosaurs, we have all kinds of dinosaurs. We have terrible lizards. And we have lots of little elements like foreground items, transparent uh, trees and cliffs and sunsets. I'm gonna show you how this works together in one second. Now over here in the Old West, we have background images of the Old West. We have uh, sort of cartoonish like images that you can mix with real life images. Now all of these are PNG graphics. You can use these with any graphics uh, program that you that you have. You can use it with Photoshop, but of course we love to use the graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software. <laughs> so I'm gonna launch it. And <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going. Um, I am going to position these windows. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a blank canvas. I can go over here to the file menu and I'm gonna choose new design. And I'm gonna set the canvas, I don't know, kind of whitish, semi-high. And we'll start with uh, ocean, the Ocean Planet series. So we're gonna start with uh, a few backgrounds. Using the graphics creator, it's really easy to use these images. For example, let's open the backgrounds and we're gonna find a background out of all these. Let's go to the bottom and we're gonna try this one because I know what I wanna create. Okay, here is uh, the, the basic background image. I'm gonna drop it here. I'm gonna backspace a little bit and we're gonna go to, um, we can go to foreground and we have like an island. I can bring in a cartoon island on top of the water and I can position it big or small. That's kind of cool. Okay, uh, or I can come up to, let's go to the other folder that I know is here. Uh, I have a full on islands folder and I can bring other islands or just one island. Let's try this island here. I like this one. Okay, the cartoony one's nice, but I'm gonna use this one because it's more realistic from what I wanna do. And I'm gonna come over here now to the characters folder. Now the really cool thing about this is that you can just keep looking in the folders and just keep dragging stuff over to see what, what you can make. Um, let's take <laughs> let's take this little guy and drag him over here. And he's scared of something, but since we don't wanna scare little children, <laughs> we are going to come over here to the sea life folder right here. And we're going to open it up and let's, here we go. <laughs> let's bring this one over and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to flip him. Go over here to image format and I'm gonna flip this guy, make him a little smaller, bring him here. And now we're gonna bring this little dude here to the front and probably gonna flip him as well. <laughs> there we go. And now if you go back to the characters, we'll find a whole bunch of really funny things. Like we have people just on rafts, just relaxing. So he really doesn't care that little dude's on Shamu. <laughs> okay, uh, get rid of the island, get rid of these guys here. And now we're gonna go back to the background tops and let's find we have lots of really nice, so he's he's enjoying himself on a nice sunny day. But what if he's been there too long and it's now sunset? Bring him to the front. His wife's gonna get start getting mad at him. <laughs> okay, 
Um, let's do a cartoony like background. I mean, top. So let's get rid of this one and I'll bring this one over this clouds and we can just kind of just have fun and position things. Come over here to see life a little bit more and maybe we want uh, a, a big shark. <laughs> He's gonna come home faster than he wants to. And of course you can add your own text. You can make greeting cards out of it, uh, Christmas cards. Um, you can use it for ads, for your social media, uh, anything you want. It's, it's really, really flexible. And then one more thing, let's say we don't want him anymore and we don't want this background or the sky and we want to make this a little higher. We'll bring this one over. We're going to send it to the back. And now we can get rid of the text if we want to send the text to the back. We might want that later. Send it to the back. But the shark is still cool. Now let's see what else we can do. We go to the landscaping folder and now we can drag and drop a whole new ocean scene and not just a boring background. And let's bring the shark here and now let's go back to the characters and we'll find some guy who thinks he's really <laughs> he's really cool and he probably doesn't see the shark yet. She sees the shark and she's gonna save her boyfriend. <laughs> And all this is going on, and this guy is just sitting on the top of the water. He has no idea what's going on beneath him. So many things you can do with this. You just gotta keep dragging and dropping. And the cool thing is this, you can just keep, you can fade, fade things uh, with the opacity. This guy has no idea what's coming. Actually, let's turn him around. Now he really has no idea what's coming. <laughs> but I could do this all day. I better keep going before this video gets too long. Let's go over to the dinosaur, the prehistoric dinosaurs. And like the other set, we're gonna start, there's a whole bunch of different folders. And just open them up and just drag images over and make, make a whole bunch of stuff. It's really fun. Uh, let's start with prehistoric backgrounds. So when I open it up, there's some really beautiful images here. Lots of prehistoric-like images. The background is trees, but let's go over here to the prehistoric foreground. So let's put some rocks in front of the trees. Not bad, but how about if we put some of these kind of images to make it more 3D, then we can come and get our dinosaurs over in the dinosaur folder. There, I like him. Let's send him to the back. Let's take away this tree image and let's go back to the, the backgrounds. And let's find something more outside. So how about this one? This out of the way. And then we're gonna come up to the foregrounds, prehistoric foregrounds, and put mountains there. What happens if we do that? There you go, how's that? And then we can come over here to landscaping and we have a mix of cartoon elements and real elements to make it look really, really 3D. So we can put cliffs, cartoon rocks, and toss that. And now we have another folder that are cartoonish backgrounds. So let's make it more like this more colorful cartoon this, these cartoon graphics are way more colorful and let's bring this to the back and we can even toss that I mean there's hundreds and hundreds of these in there you'll be playing this until four in the morning and I'm almost there right now <laughs> or how about we get rid of this background drop this one in it send it to the back backgrounds should go in the back Get rid of these rocks. These rocks a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna come over to the dinosaurs and we have flying and swimming dinosaurs too. 
but we're going to find a dinosaur that is running or chasing something. There we go, like this one. I'm going to put him here, and then we're going to go into the characters, like this, <laughs> and put her, and then she's literally stuck between a rock and a lava place. <laughs> We can go back to the cartoony backgrounds. All kinds of really unique graphics that you can create with this package. Like this, and we've even got a folder of video backgrounds in each set. So you can find some really cool motion video, like clouds moving put this in the back of everything. Drop it in the back. And that is a, is a really, really cool combination of some really cool stuff. Let's get a dinosaur on there real quick before I go to the Old West. And this is truly the land that time forgot. Okay, oh my God, this video is getting too long. The other set I wanna show you really quick is the Old West set. Now the Wild West Country is one of my favorites. I love this. And to make this video faster because again, I am just gonna spend hours and hours doing this in front of you guys. Um, <laughs> here is, here is uh, some backgrounds, right? We have a whole bunch of Wild West backgrounds. And the cool thing about this set as well is that it has beautiful cartoon backgrounds as well as realistic backgrounds and these kind of backgrounds. So I want to show you some really cool effects. So for example, we can take this background, a cartoony background, and lay it fairly big. And then like the other sets, we can come over here to landscaping and put some some real cactus in front of it. Go to the foregrounds and we'll put some desert ground underneath. Kind of cool, this background might not be working as well, but you know what we can do is we can do things like stretch just the background, like this, kind of cool. And now we can come over to our characters and let's see what kind of characters we have. We have people riding horses, of course. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We can have him riding off into the sunset. So he's a little bit more of a silhouette. So let's take this background away and let's go to the backgrounds again and see if we can find one that's a little bit more suitable for him riding into the sunset. And move it to the back. We'll make it really big. There, that's really cool. <laughs> and we have signs. Or you can take him away and we'll see what else we got here. What kind of animals do we have? Oh, we have a buffalo, so the buffalo could be here. And we're going to flip him because in my characters, I happen to know because, cut her out, we have a girl that would really love to ride a buffalo. <laughs> She's having a good time riding a buffalo in the sunset, and she's still going the wrong way. Anyway, it's just fun to play with this. Um, we have uh, sky elements like um, suns that you can make really big into the, and then send it to the back. So that's kind of cool. And if you don't want her, we can have the, the canvas kind of like a really, really dark canvas. And instead of a sun, we have a moon that we can make really big and send this to the back. Take the sign away, take this cactus away. And then we have a couple of really nice silhouette character, silhouetted characters. There, that's more 3D-ish. There we go, pretty cool. And he didn't realize that he's about to get taken, in, taken into the Hooskow. <laughs> pretty cool. Anyway, like I said, I could do this forever. You're going to love these three graphic sets. Um, you can mix and match if you want to get all three, of course. You can take a dinosaur. <laughs> She's on a backwards. Yeah, who knows how to ride a dinosaur? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. Maybe she didn't either. 
The new Create a Scene series by Laughing Bird. It's a brand new way to use the graphics creator. You can use it for both the online and the downloadable versions. Just drag and drop. It's super easy, super fun, and you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.